Okay, this is to Prince Hall. Prince Hall. And this is the story of Prince Hall. You read it carefully. And it says here, Prince Hall, born around 1735, between 73 or 1738, any time between 1735 and 1738. Uh, he transitioned in 1807, was an abolitionist and leader in the free black community in Boston. He found Prince Hall Freemasonry and lobbied for education rights for African American children. He was also active in the Back to Africa movement. Hall tried to gain New York's enslaved and free blacks a place in Freemasonry, education, and the military, which was some of the most crucial spheres of society in his time. Hall is considered the founder of Black Freemasonry in the United States, known today as Prince Hall Freemasonry. Hall formed the African Grand Lodge of North America. Prince Hall was unanimously elected to Grand Master and served until his death in 1807. Since Steve Gladstone, author of Freemason, Phil Boston states that Prince Hall, known for his role in creating Black Freemasonry, championed equal education rights and fighting slavery, was one of the most influential free Black leaders in the late 1700s. There is confusion about his year of birth, place of birth, parents, and marriages. <laughs> At least partly due to the multiple number of Prince Halls during this time period. <laughs> oh boy, very confusing everything. But anyway, Prince Hall, he said he was a leader in the Back to Africa movement. <laughs> and he also fought for equal education rights for black children and freedom for of black children. And the Caucasian people considered, uh, some of them consider free, uh, Prince Hall Freemasonry as being irregular. And there's nothing irregular about it. It's more regular than the, than the white Freemasonry, if you really want to argue that point, in, in the United States, that is. <laughs> so we're giving honor to Prince Hall. May he lead us still as a grandmaster. <laughs>